Hey, I'm Angie with Adventures in Nomadness. We're gonna be in a hot climate coming up for about three plus months, and we want more air ventilation in our RV. So the standard Lippert windows go from three and a half inches, that's standard. We're gonna show you how to expand that to at least three inches more opening here for more ventilation. All right, the tools you're gonna to need for this project is a magnetic screwdriver, and you will thank me if you have a magnetic screwdriver, trust me. Uh, something really thin to line the holes up again up on top when we take the little tiny, tiny itty bitty screw out. A uh, pair of scissors and a measuring tape, which is kind of optional, but uh, I'll show you how to do this. Right, there's a very tiny screw up on top here. All right, next step is to pull the whole window, slide this all the way out. Well, not all the way out. Now you want to slide it enough that your arm will come off the edge. And then basically you have this whole spacer thing that goes in there and you just pull that out so that's in a track. So what we've decided to do, you can just pull the whole thing out and the arms right here on the other one will actually go all the way in. The thing with that is it does make it a little harder to close. So we've elected to go cut this down to about four and a half inches here. And that gives us almost three extra inches of opening. So. You just take a pair of scissors and cut that down. Pre-cut one to four and a half inches. I'm gonna just gonna slide this back in here again. And then you take the other arm and bring the window back in and slide that back in. Okay, so I've slid the window back in place and this is exactly how you replace the window too if you need to. And I have a really small, too small to even see, it's a jeweler's screwdriver. Because uh, I want to be able to line up the hole here again because you can't really see that hole. You can't see where it goes into the window once that's in, so the screw should line up now. Very carefully thread that back in. All right, so by doing that, I've cut that bumper down to about four and a half inches, and now we've gone from a three and a half inch opening to just about six and a half inches. Woohoo! All right, don't mind the barking dogs. All right, this one over here was the first one we did, and we took the bumper completely out. So by doing that, it didn't really gain us that much more. Uh, it gave us like six and three quarters inches. So if you take the bumper completely out, uh, it makes these arms straight out and a little bit harder to close. However, one solution we did find, get yourself some silicone, some dry lube, RV dry silicone lube, and then you can spray the insides of that track. And then that opens and closes really easily now. And I'm gonna go back to this back window and do that one. Then we'll open and close that a couple times. Uh, that window over there, because of the awning, we don't have the awning out. I couldn't use my screwdriver, it was too long. So I did use a 90 degree number one Phillips head for that and a magnet next to it so I could capture the screw. 
Still lost it on the ground though, still managed to find it. So get something magnetized for sure. So the back windows, because they're double, you only have to take one screw out of the top. Uh, these single windows have two screws, so double the fun of trying to wrangle screws, small screws, little tiny, tiny, itty bitty, teensy tiny screws. So each window only takes maybe a few minutes, five minutes, of less of course you drop the screw on the ground and you spend 20 minutes looking for it. So be really, really careful about that one. And if you got some value out of this video, please hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you in our next video.